Hi families. Welcome today. My name is Serendipity. I'm looking forward to sharing a really fun craft with you today. We're going to make paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls into really fun, funky crafts. Today we're going to do a little bit about monkeys. <laughs> we're going to make some monkey faces today and create bodies. So the first thing that I want you to do to get ready for our craft today is to gather a toilet paper roll or paper towel roll. A few of them if you'd like to make multiple monkeys. I'm going to make five at least today. So when you get that out, I want you to also grab out some paint if you'd like. You could also use crayons or colored pencils or markers to do this project. But today I want to start by making the body of a monkey. So I'm just going to take a normal paper towel roll and then paint it up all the way around with a darker brown paint. Now you don't have to, monkeys are come in lighter colors like our toilet paper rolls, right? So if you don't have any paint or time to do this project and wait for it to dry, you can always just use your standard color. I need a little more paint, so I'm going to put some paint onto an, my nice paint space here. I've got an apron on so I don't paint my clothes today, but this is water soluble or water washable paint. So it's easy if I accidentally do get a little bit on myself that I can clean it up. But remember that we've got to have certain spaces for our arts and crafts so we're not getting it all over everybody else, right? <laughs> okay, so this doesn't take very long. If you'd like to join me, you can just go ahead and go around your whole paper towel roll with your paint. My fingers are going to get a little wet with paint at the top of this, but that's okay. I don't mind, and like I just told you, easy to clean off. So I'm gonna put that over here with my other ones. I'm done with this paintbrush now, so I'm gonna put it in my water and shake it around so it can clean off. I often use just a one little wet wipe or a nice rag near me in case I get a little bit of paint on me that I definitely don't wanna spread anywhere else, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, the next thing we want to do is let these dry. Now, I painted a few of them earlier so that I could help you move forward in our project, okay? So, the next thing I want you to do is get out some construction paper if you happen to have it. This could also be like a paper bag from the grocery store if you want. I also sometimes use old mail and cut that out to make really cool looking characters. I took my paper, let's see if I've got some extra here, get another piece of brown paper out, or any color you want. I'm Today we're talking a little bit more about baboons. I'm making these to look like pretty standard like spider monkeys, but you could make yours to look like baboons if you wanted. Because I'm going to make multiple projects today and I love to save paper, I'm going to go ahead and fold my paper in half first, okay? So I took it its full size and I folded it in half. The next thing I want to do is fold it into thirds. This is kind of fun. You go, you're going to fold it where you feel like a third might be. So I don't go all, I don't go to the center and I don't go all the way to the other edge. I find the place right in between there. And I'm going to fold that and then take my other piece and fold it over. It doesn't have to be exact, but this is a really good way to make six different segments out of your paper. What I'm going to do then is cut these into my six different segments. Or if you're just going to wait, make one monkey, cut out a piece, set the rest aside, and then you can use the rest for another project that we'll do next week or later in the month, right? Okay. Because I told you I was going to do six to begin with, though, I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting out very safely my six segments. And I'm not making them exact. Like I said, this is just fun, and we're not doing them to proportion necessarily, okay? So make your segments, and then you are all set. The next thing we're going to do is start to create the outsides of our monkey. Monkey face, monkey ears, monkey arms, monkey feet, monkey belly. <laughs> Let me hear your monkeys out there. <laughs>
You don't have to do a monkey, but it's pretty fun. You want to try it? You can do arms. <laughs> Monkeys. Okay. Next thing I want to do is teach you how to make a few other parts for our monkeys, okay? Beautiful. What we're going to do is take something round, if you happen to have it. I just use the, a little cup that I like to put my sauces in. <laughs> and what you want to do with this, we're going to make a monkey face to begin with. So I'm going to take a piece of my paper, and I'm going to take one of my pencils and just trace a circle. Oops, I need to stick some of my pencil lead out. So I'm going to trace a circle. Easy squeezy, ala peasy. I could use a little bit darker on that one. I think I'm going to use my black colored pencil so you can see what I'm up to. So I'm going to go around my circle. See that? Very easy. We're just doing a nice circle. Next thing, I want to make another mostly circle inside of there. So I'm going to use the other side of my cool little cup here. And I'm going to start tracing another circle inside of my circle. Now I'm not going to fill it all the way in because I want to make a little bit of dimension to the top of my monkey face. So I'm going to trace most of it like a big smiley face or more. Then what I'm going to do, let's see if I can kind of show you here. I'm going to go and make almost what we would think the top of a heart looks like. Just a little divot in. So I've got my round circle and I'm going to divot in a little bit like you would with a heart. That's where I'm going to put my monkey eyeballs, okay? <laughs> so I've got that outer circle that I traced with a big circle, and then inside I trace the smaller circle. Now I'm going to add eyeballs. So I'm going to draw two circles in between the spaces that I kind of made my heart. Can you see where I'm headed with this? Okay. Inside of there, then you can do a few eyeballs. I'm going to then add nostrils. Two good nostrils for my monkey nose. You can decide if you how close you want them together, but you don't want them too far apart, because how far apart is the nose anyway? So you're making the holes that you're breathing through, okay? Because we're all kind of monkeys some days, aren't we? Then I'm going to make a little space down beneath it. That's like the spot right here on our faces. And then my monkey's happy today. So I'm painting or drawing a really nice big smile on my monkey face. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is take time to go through and paint color or use your markers maybe to make the outside of that face all colorful. So you can take your paint, and I got a smaller brush for this one because I'm not as skilled with getting in between the lines with big brushes, so I've kind of got to use smaller brushes. So I just get my little paint brush, see what I'm up to? And I'm just going to start painting around and around and around. Pretty fun. So once you get to the outsides of all of that, I'm going to just finish this one up on the side so you can kind of see the outsides. Oops, I got a little bit of paint on my monkey face. Um, but monkeys have hair, right? So maybe I'll just make it look like hair. Ooh, ooh, I kind of like that. I turned a mess up into cool features. Oh, I like my monkey's hair now. Who's to say that we have to do things perfectly, right? <laughs> This is a goofball fun monkey project. We're allowed to be a little goofy with it. Let me hear your monkey howls. <laughs> so I've gone around the circle and I've started painting the outskirts of my face. I then want to go in and paint around the outside of my ears and then get those beautiful monkey eyes kind of outlined a little darker if they weren't already. I didn't show you how to draw the ears on that side, did I? And I'm actually noticing I went up really high on my circle. I don't actually have enough room to draw ears right there like I did on this piece. Not a problem though. What could I do to fix it, do you think? 
what would you do if you had made this and didn't leave enough room for monkey ears? What would you do? Could you add the ears? Yeah, I think we could totally just add the ears, my friends. So I'm going to cut this one out. Ooh, it's still wet. I better wait, right? That one's still wet. Patience is so hard sometimes with crafts. So I'm actually going to go over to my other one and I'll show you how we could add some ears if you made that mistake. But once your monkey dries, totally, <laughs> then you can go back in with a pair of kid scissors or safe scissors and cut around. This one has its ears, so I'm going to cut around its ears and just gently do the best you can. I kind of like it when I've already painted around it because it gives me like a space to cut. It says here's my outline and I want to cut right around my outline, right? Oh yes, monkey face looking good, my friend. Can you see our nice monkey face? So that would be the same thing that's happening here other than I forgot to add some ears on there. So I could cut these out of some extra parts of my paper and just glue them or tape them onto there. I'm going to do the same thing right now with this. Let's see if one of my paper towel rolls is dry. Yes, it is. I did this about a half an hour ago and it's now dry and ready for me to use. Now, if you like to use glue, you could use glue right now. Maybe you prefer using tape. I like to keep a good glue stick handy. It makes it pretty darn easy to complete my paper crafts for sure, right? So I'm just going to add a little glue on the bottom of my monkey face. And then I'm going to glue that monkey face on to my really awesome looking paper towel roll or toilet paper roll. Oh, Mr. Monkey, you are starting to look super cool. Starting to look like a monkey, right? You may have noticed on the other piece of paper that I already drew a couple of things. And I realize I'm kind of far away from the camera today. I'm still working on how to film this for you. So I am going to show you here what we're going to be up to. If you still have that piece with your drawing monkey face carefully, you can now next to it draw an oval. An oval. Now that oval is going to sit underneath this monkey face as his tummy. So we want to make it in a size that would fit on there. So I'm not going to go too big with my oval. Just big enough to fill up that part of the paper. The other thing I'm going to draw on there are the monkey feet. I think our monkey might like some feet. So I'm going to imagine monkey feet are kind of like my feet. So I'm going to look down at my feet and try to draw something similar to my foot. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. These can be just smaller ovals. And then I'm going to put four lines. Oops, I don't know if I left enough room. Four lines, one, two, three, four, making spaces for toes. Now, that is all that we need to draw. So if you want to go to that space, I'm going to go on my other one that I already drew just simply because that one's still drying. And I'm going to cut out the belly. And that, again, is just a nice little oval, okay? And it's pretty easy. We're just going to go around the circle, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Who's to say that there's a perfect oval on that monkey's tummy? Ooh, I like that. You see how I'm going to stick it on there for his belly? It might be a little big. My monkey face might be a little big too. Oh, this is silly. I like this. Okay, so like I said, who's, who's to say it needs to be perfect, right? We're just having a good time. Okay, I'm going to make my monkey belly just the tiniest bit smaller because it barely fit on there. But because I made it big enough to begin with, I can just trim off a couple bits of it and make it smaller. I like my glue, so I'm going to go back to my glue and just add some glue. Now we've got to add glue all the way around the edge of this one, right? Because if not, it's not going to stick on there for us. Now I want to bring my monkey back over here and I'm going to put a really cute little tummy on there. Oh, tickle, tickle that baboon monkey tummy. <laughs> 
little tickle. Oh, you are looking swell, sir. Now, I still have his feet to cut out. I hope I made him big enough. Sure, looks good to me. So remember, I just made two kind of oval looking, sort of, shapes. <laughs> and I added some lines for toes. So I'm just going to quickly cut those out as well. And most of you are old enough that you can totally do this by yourself, right? I mean, you've been doing this for a while. But if you're younger and still need assistance with your scissors, this is a really great time to ask for a friend or your mom or dad or auntie or grandma or somebody to help, or big sister, okay? Or big brother, yeah, yeah, big brother can help. Um, and remember, we have to be patient because we don't all have all the skills all the time, right? Right, okay. So I've got two tiny little feet, tiny little feet. They're so little. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. So I wanna figure out how to put these monkey feet <laughs> on my monkey. Oh, this monkey's really starting to come together. He's cracking me up. So on my feet, I left a little extra room on the back where I could just fold up a little piece, just a tiny little flap of it. That leaves me a place to actually put some glue and glue it inside, inside of my monkey space. So I'm gonna put some glue on the edge of both of my monkey feet. I didn't fold my one monkey foot yet, so I'm going to do that gently right now. And then I'm going to just gently glue those to the inside of my paper towel roll. Now, boy, I'm kind of feeling like I'm in a hurry because I'm sharing, but I don't need to be in a hurry. So I'm going to go back and add a little more glue. My first one didn't really stick well. And if it doesn't stick well, you could also add tape. I've been known to even staple <laughs> things onto my toilet paper rolls when they need it because you just never really know what's going to work the best for you in any given moment, right? Oh, so cute. Monkey toes, monkey toes. Let me see your monkey toes. You see, now he's got some little monkey feet. Can he stand up with them? Yes. Oh, monkey man, you are looking so great. What do you think our monkey's missing or would like to have to feel complete? What do you think? He's got a head and he's got feet and he's got a body. What else do you think a monkey might need? Or a baboon? This one's more like a spider monkey. What do you think? Yeah, tail and arms, right? Yes, 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 yes. You know, well, maybe you don't know this about me. Oops, I dropped my pencil. I always like to clean up if I make a mess right away so that I don't have to have more of a mess to clean up later. But I love, love pipe cleaners is what I was saying before I spilled my pencil. I really like pipe cleaners. You might not have any at home. I happen to have a bunch before we had to be in home, at home. So if you don't have any at home, you can also make cool arms out of pieces of paper. You can just take one little strip of your extra piece of paper. You'll actually make two or three if you want to make your tail like this. And you can make an accordion tail. This is really kind of fun. You can fold the tiny bit of the paper to the next piece and then you fold again fold again, fold again, fold again, fold again. Oh my goodness, fold again. Then that makes boing, ba boing, boing, boing. That makes kind of a really cool arm that you could make, paper towel, or I mean, uh, paper style, right? Ding, da, da, ding, ding, ding. I think I'm gonna use those arms on my next guy because those are super cool. I'm gonna set those there and put them on my next monkey. Everybody, I personally need to make several monkeys. I'm gonna do a little story with you guys later. And so I feel like I need a lot of monkeys jumping on my bed. All right, I'm going to make another arm there. So like I said, you could put these arms to the side. Let me put, lift it up so you can see it. Not easy to do with one hand. There we are. Monkey arms. And then you would add one more for the feet if you liked that style. Uh, or excuse me, for the feet. For the tail. For the tail. I am going to use one piece of pipe cleaner to do all three of my things. Two arms, one tail makes three. So remember how I told you how you could kind of make thirds out of something like this? I want to fold it not to the center because that would just make halves or fourths. 
I want to fold it not to the center and not to the other end, but right somewhere in between there. Ooh, I like that spot. Then I'm going to fold where the end meets my other piece. And I want to try to make them so they're about even. See how I wasn't exactly even? So I'll kind of scooch this one up, pull that one down. Now they look pretty darn even, right? So I take my scissors quickly, quickly cut. Well, I'm going quickly. You don't have to go quickly. But I can easily cut them there. And then this is so cool. Pipe cleaners go through paper towel stuff pretty darn easy. Or you can actually just put like a little tiny hole. Sometimes I'll take my pencil that I was using earlier. Let's see where we want his arms. Right about here. Oh, that pencil doesn't like it. This is a little too strong with all the paint on there. So you could go through it with, oh, might be the time to ask for a little help with a little bit of scissors or gently push your scissors through. I'm going to make a tiny little cut, a ah, little tiny cut. There you go, buddy. Watch your fingers on the other side, friends. This is something we want to be really careful with when we're making a hole. We just kind of go easy. And this is something you can totally, oh my goodness, ask for help with. Because as I looked up at you, mine went straight through. If my finger was through there, I could have hurt myself. So I'm glad that I'm going slow and carefully. Now that I've made a little hole, I'm just going to gently put my cute little arm through here. And let's see. Then I want to maybe bend it forward so he's like patting his tummy. Don't monkeys sometimes rub their heads in their tummies? I don't know. Now if you feel like your thing's not going to stay in there very well, you could also put a little piece of tape because my hole got to be a little bigger than I wanted it to be. So I'm going to go in there and just put a nice little piece of tape. If you don't want to put a hole through your paper towel holder, your toilet paper holder, um, you can also just tape these right to the outside. Works pretty well. Oh my gosh, you are super cute, buddy. I am going to get this. <laughs> Oh, man, his arms are awesome. I'm realizing his feet might be a little tiny for how big his cool arms are. Okay, so I'm going to go across from him onto the other side and mark a space where I want to put, oops, excuse me, pipe cleaners, where I want to put my other hole. So I come over here and I just say, hey, I'd like you about right there, my friendly hole. And I'm going to very gently twist here with my scissors or ask a friend until I have a nice little hole right there. Now I'm going to put another piece of my pipe cleaner through there, fold it a little on that other side, or I can tape it, and then I have got really cool monkey arms. <laughs> Let me hear your monkey howls. Let me hear your monkey howls. Let me hear your monkey howls early in the morning. Maybe mom doesn't want to hear them early in the morning. Maybe that song should be, let me hear your monkey howls right after lunchtime. <laughs> okay, I'm taping up that little one inside of there just so he can keep his really nice arm straight up. I feel like he's almost in a salute. Thank you so much for coming today, salute. <laughs> now, I'd like to add his tail. Can you imagine it's the same thing that we've been doing before, right? So we're going to take a little piece of it and just pop it through his backside. A little bit lower, right? Because their tails are toward their bums. Coming off of their bums, in fact, right? So, tails. We don't have tails like that, do we? That's cool. I like thinking about monkeys and their tails. When I went to Mexico, all of the spider monkeys would hold on to the branches up above them and hang down just with their tails and hang out with us. I thought, how cool would that be to have a tail where I could just hang out? Okay, so I put a little hole into the back there. I'm just going to gently stick my little tail through there, and then you can kind of curl it monkey tail style. I think my tail is looking pretty awesome, guys. So, there, my friends, we have a really nice monkey project. I'm going to bring it up close. So you can really see monkey man, monkey man, doing as fast as you can. Monkey man, monkey man. Pretty great, right? All right. That's a monkey craft.
Give this little one this monkey around up with mom. Ha, ha, ha.